Welcome back to Loving Living Local. As you can tell, we snuck outside today because everybody needs a little sunshine. And with it being National Gardening Day, we thought that we would show you how to do something cool for your garden by creating a bee watering station. Now, I know you're going, why do we want to water the bees? This is why, because one single honeybee will visit over 2,000 flowers daily. So it's really important if you want to have a really good, healthy garden to make sure that you are supporting those pollinators. And we're going to go ahead and get started and show you how to make your own bee watering station. So this is a fun project you can do with your kids. There's not a lot involved. It comes together really quickly and easily, but it's a good excuse to get them outside. So we got our planter. We went ahead and put the first layer of the rocks in there. And we're actually going to cut open another bag. Sometimes you might need two might need to a little bit. So you've got the river rock that you picked up from the decorating department of your dollar store, and you're going to spread them out. But you've also got some really pretty gemstone marbles over here that you're going to add. Because not only does it make it look nice, bees love color. That's why if you're wearing bright colors outside, bees always find you. Now, bees love colorful flowers like snapdragons, hyacinths, um, zinnias. The more color you can add to your garden, the more bees you're going to have there because they're looking for some place happy to stop and feed. So we'll probably put another little bag of the colorful marbles there. Again, this is a quick and easy, cheap project you can do if you want to help take care of the bees or even the butterflies. You'll see butterflies and hummingbirds when you do this as well. So now that you've got your marbles kind of scattered over the top, what you're going to do is you're going to add some water. Now you're not going to soak it because you don't want it to be too deep to where the, the bees or the hummingbirds land in there to where they can't get back out. So what you do is you add just enough water to come up to almost the top of your rocks and marbles. See? There you go. If you get too much, of course, you can always drain it off. And you want to change the water out, you know, every day or so, every couple of days, because you don't want it to turn into anything for mosquitoes. But guys, there you have it. That's how quick and easy you can make your own bee watering station. You can take care of the bees, the butterflies, the hummingbirds, all of them. But we're going to have more fun in the garden throughout the season. So stick around for more Loving Living Local when we come back.